mashallah. So we, we can't uh, have Effendi without having Noor, and we can't have Effendi, I mean, Noor was truly such a beloved for Effendi, such a, the fire of love, really. And, and we can't have Effendi without having all his beloveds. He loved so much um, the dervishes here, everyone who surrounded him, he deeply loved them. And I, that's what he brought. He brought a love that maybe we could dream of, or maybe not even that we had ever never dreamt of, a love that was so real and so godlike, so divine, and so touching the human, and so boundless, and, and so tender, and uh, uh, um, mashallah, really, I mean, that's what he brought, Effendi brought love. He brought love to the Americas, and so we all, you know, what can you do before love but prostrate? So we were there, even though we were sitting up drinking tea or laughing or at his stories or in, in deep um, states of contemplation before him, around him, or trying to leap up to, you know, serve him in, in some way. Um, we were really lost in love. It was like we weren't even ourselves anymore. We were in the in the drama of love and just um, lost and found in the drama of love. So alhamdulillah. I mean, and and may that continue. May it grow. May may we taste that every day of our lives and and live really in that life beyond that is beyond our, our understanding of life or beyond what we conceive as ourself. We're no longer ourselves, we've given ourselves all over to love, to be inhabited and moved by the hand of love. So that is real life, that's real life, inshallah. I mean, may, may we live that real life and may it come back in, in all its power and beauty as he brought it the first time. I feel Effendi's uh, returning and um, inshallah, I feel him returning actually to be really embodied in our community and in this world. So alhamdulillah. We're playing the uh, nightingale the, at dawn, which was a, a, an experience. I mean, all the Allahis really are true experiences of, of the saints. And that was an experience Sheikh Musafir had in Bursa and um, where his heart was suddenly opened at dawn, literally out in the rose gardens of Bursa. And uh, he <laughs> broke through the Sharia into the heart and into the Tariqat Hakikat and describes that in the Allahi. So, Inshallah, every time we sing it, and certainly when we hear him sing it, you know, we get this transmission of that experience. This is why, you know, the tariqat is so great because it has all the transmissions and reflections and lights of all the saints that we, each tariqat embodies, you know, and so, and, and it's capable of course, uh, receiving more, always. So a tarikat is like a saint, <laughs> a saint's heart, you might say. So we all live inside the saint's heart and meeting other saints and having conversations and and you know um, to jelly and and uh, re revelation. So beautiful. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. This is really what we transmit. I mean, this is the most valuable. And then, of course, hands and, and feet and tongues working for compassion and love and mercy in the world. And then, but and really among ourselves is this constant, you might say, um, 
you know, reflections to each other's hearts, and we know we don't not even conscious of it, um, of of these deeper experiences of 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 divine reality, of God. Alhamdulillah. So. Well, to transform the suffering, and it's, it's, we don't really, I mean, ending it, it's, it's the power of transforming it that is given to the, the friends of God. So, you know, when you would sit in the presence of Effendi or Noor, and this is true of all the, the great masters of love, that your suffering would be transformed. And... Um, you know, it was there maybe still, but you didn't feel it at all in the same way, like the fires of, of hell being turned into light. Alhamdulillah. So, um, you know, it's, it's alhamdulillah. Zikr is the healing, the healing of the heart of the earth, the healing of the hearts of humanity. Uh, Zikr is the healing, the rejoicing of the stars, the sun, the moon, the rejoicing, the joy of the angels. We know they come to Zikr. So Zikr is the main healer of the creation, of humanity and the creation, Zikr. And then, you know, and then there are all these inspired uh, other forms of healing that um, really are probably like the, the do jobs of Zikr or like the, you know, the reflections of Zikr. And, and these are all um, what also are given to heal people. And so um, we stand up for the divine nature of creation, for the divine nature of humanity uh, that we, we attest, we witness that Allah is the reality and, um, and that the prophet is the messenger of this reality, the prophet and all the prophets and all the saints uh, bear witness and, and uh, manifest and reflect the, the essence and light of, of the reality of God, of Allah, known by countless beautiful names. So Alhamdulillah, this is the healing of humanity and the earth, this is, uh, great, but we have to stand for the truth. And when lies are told, when humanity is prevented from uh, access to uh, what Allah has bestowed upon humanity, this is um, this is um, to be dissolved, and through through the light of love and truth and truthful speaking. So, I mean, there's a lot of information available now for humanity on how to grow things in a halal way, how to uh, nourish one's body in a halal way, and how to go about one's life in a, in a halal and beneficial way. So, I mean, may we receive all of those and we should share those with each other, you know, whatever we know. Um, and, and, not really listen too much to the the big powers who are trying to dominate all our lives and um alhamdulillah